Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl for most of fantasy and today we'll be doing this gorgeous face right here, alright? But wait, hold up. Um yeah. Like why aren't you liking my videos? Like give me a thumbs up. I mean it's free. Come on now. So I decided to go back in my shop Miss A palette. So I'll be using all four today. So let's just jump right into it. Hey, oh, it's your girl. It's time for another video, for another video, for another video. Like, comment, share, sub for other videos. Uh. So taking our trusty old rumor number two, P. Louise base, and I am be using this to base my eyelid, and I'm buffing it out. Now I'm taking tape. Any tape will do. I'm using surgical tape because you want sharp edges. So going in my self-made palette and I'm taking that dark blue shade right there and I'm just placing this in my transition area which is a little bit above my fold of my eye, my crease and I'm just making the shape that I would like, okay? Now going back into it and I'm taking my green, that lime green right there and I'm just using it to go on top to buff it out. Um, I wanted like a blue green type of effect so that's why I went into the blue instead of a dark green all right so I'm using my M506 brush to do that now taking another palette which is a violet or blue and I'm taking that um, bone color and I am putting that on my brow bone area now taking that light blue and I'm going on top of this with that because remember I wanted like a gradient from blue to greenish all right so you know we have to go back in with the color so I'm going that with that blue again now taking those two colors the green and the yellow and I'm putting that right on top right there so I already I went off camera and cleaned up my eyelid with Vaseline now I'm going over it with my P. Louise base again in number two to further carve it out okay Take your time while doing this, all right, because this can go sideways real quick. All right, now I'm buffing it out to prep for shadow. Now going into my vanity palette, and I'm taking that um, nude shade right there, and I'm putting this in the inner corner, and I'm creating a shape with this, all right? So now taking that brick orangish looking shape, and... I am going in the inner, the center of my lid, sorry. And I am just making sure everything has a nice gradient, all right? So as you can see, I have, my, my um, first color has that nice curved shape and that's exactly what I was going for. Now I'm taking that darker shade, this is more brown, but it's a warm tone brown, and I'm placing that on the end of everything so we have that gradient from the warm brown to the orangish looking shade leading up to that nude color yep i'm liking it now i took my um nabby cosmetics white liner and i'm just putting like an accent line on the end right there um not sure why i just felt like doing it so you know this in a look if we ain't adding some rhinestones all right so I'm just putting four rhinestones on the end. Was it four or five? I think it was five on my um, accent liner right there. So you know, we, we put down the glue and then we add the rhinestone. Now we adding some more rhinestones on the inner corner and yeah. So these were holographic rhinestones from Shop Miss A, just the same, right? Yeah. Now taking my gel liner in black, and I'm just putting that on my um, waterline, and I'm also tight lining, you know, because we don't want that, like, discoloration right there. No, we don't. Now going back into my palette, the violets are blue, and I'm taking the blue, that dark blue shade, and I'm placing that right on my lash line, my lower lash line, okay? And then I'm going to go over it with that green right there from the Immersed palette, yeah? And I'm just buffing it, like blending it out. That's all I'm doing. So I went right on top just the same, and it gave me a nice color. 
Now I'm taking that shimmer, that goldish yellow shimmer, and I'm putting it in my tear duct area. You know, I wanted that nice glowing look. Yeah. Now you can use any brown pencil that you have or even a brown lip liner. Don't really matter. I am just lining my lips with the brown because you know, you know, you know. Always new lips. Always a new lip. Um, went in the middle with a uh, lip crayon and then I went over it with my diamond gloss. Put in my earrings and voila. This is the completed look. I actually went out with this look and everybody was like, girl, I love it. Oh, the color that I use for my inner tear duct, I also use it as a highlight. And yeah, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> it's also one year anniversary since I've been on YouTube. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials. And until next time, bye beauties.